Hi everyone, I'm Irir. Welcome to another installment of Drawing with Purpose. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, danger and evil and how to convey that through simple shapes and forms. Uh, did you ever notice when you're watching a new cartoon or a show uh, or a video game, you can usually tell the good guys from the bad guys apart uh, pretty easily? Um, or have you ever heard as a kid, usually, hopefully, uh, one of the following sentences, do not wave that pencil around, you'll gouge someone eye out, or running with scissors is dangerous, uh, or don't touch the forks and knives, or something broke that's made of glass, don't step there, you'll injure yourself. We've been conditioned by those cartoons we watched as children, and our uh, loving parents, to be afraid of sharp things, to realize sharp things can injure us. And most of us learned it so well, those who didn't, probably didn't make it, I'm sorry, but most of us learned it so well that even when we see a sharp shape uh, drawn on a page or on a screen, then our brain conveys to us that it is dangerous. So let's look at some examples. Uh, here we have some very, very lovely characters from uh, the animated Maleficent in her dragon form, top left, to a demon lord from World of Warcraft, to Shredder, to a Chaos Space Marine from the Warhammer 40,000 universe, and one of the Zelda bosses, I think, the, the orc thingy on the boar. So the thing, that, the thing they all have in common is the fact that they all have many, many, many sharp elements on them. Uh, which immediately uh, makes them feel dangerous. Uh, obviously, uh, those of them who are animalistic or have like huge fanged mouths, it helps too. We talked about the size of the mouth uh, in the uh, last, uh, last segment. Usually when the mouth is too big or bigger than the norm, our brain would, would see it as something dangerous, like getting bitten from it. Or something like that. So if you want to make a character look more dangerous or disturbing, then bigger mouths. So <clears throat> if we want to make a character that's that'll be immediately recognized as dangerous, sharp objects, sharp elements are the best way to do it, the shortest way to do it. Here we have um, Maleficent's dragon form. On the left, the original one. On the right, we have... Um, one that I have uh, photoshopped heavily and took away all the sharp elements from the design. As you can see, the dragon looks considerably less menacing. Um, a bit of a tool, actually, like a bit of uh, an idiot, I, I guess. Sorry for the language. Uh, it does still look dangerous because of the scale. Uh, you can tell that it's leaning on a castle, so it's obviously big and thus dangerous. And the color scheme, <clears throat> which is a very, very common Disney color scheme for evil, uh, which is uh, the black and purple, uh, all convey that it is dangerous. We're going to talk about color schemes in a future installment. So uh, even <clears throat> facial elements can make a character look more dangerous or intimidating. Uh, for example, here's Hans from Frozen. Uh, this part is gonna include some spoilers for Frozen, so apologies in advance. Uh, if you didn't see it, see it. Uh, so Hans pretends, for the first half of the, film, of the film, Hans pretend to be a good guy, as you can see on the image to the left, where his hair is very well groomed, uh, his eyebrows are very, um, <clears throat> uh, very, like, not sharp angle, like broad angle, I'm sorry. Um, his eyes are open wide, his irises and pupils are very, very large, and uh, he's usually smiling, and even his um, chin looks a bit soft. Uh, however, when he shows his true colors, um, he's either usually smiling a very large and unpleasant smile. Make, what's making it unpleasant is the fact that it's very, very wide and the fact that he looks angry while he is smiling. Um, you can see on the image to the right how his eyebrows make a sharp uh, angle uh, from the eye of the eyes. 
his hair is much less combed and like falling sharp clumps on the on the forehead and his chin looks a bit more sharp like very very subtle but you can actually see it and these changes immediately convey to the viewer that he is no longer a good guy uh, i remember the first time seeing it it was quite a shock it wasn't a surprise you you were, were expecting from disney to make uh, so these subtle changes in his appearance uh, convey that he is no longer a good guy. Um, so here's <clears throat> a little uh, challenge for you guys. Um, only one of these eight characters is a good guy. I actually have no idea where most of them are from. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment in the comments where are they from. I think this, the guy who sits on, with the red background is Geese Howard from uh, King of Fighters but the rest are, uh, I don't uh, recognize. But if you can figure out who's the good guy from all these guys, then five, four, three, two, one, it's Captain America, obviously, uh, even if you didn't know it was him. Um, his facial expression is reassuring. The rest, the rest of them look a bit menacing. Um, usually the eyebrows give a very very unpleasant expression uh, <clears throat> but you see how subtle it is i mean if you look at them at the faces if these were real actual human beings then it would have been very very difficult uh let's see with female characters so here i actually know most of them there's supergirl kim possible batgirl uh wonder woman uh, Sabrina the Good Witch, Teenage Witch, and Power Girl, I think, or uh, Wonder Woman's cousin or something. So two of these characters are bad. And again, it, by the time it, I got to this part, you already uh, recognize who the bad characters were. Um, and it's very simple. Again, the, the facial ex expression is unpleasant. The eyebrows give the sharpest edge uh, from all the others. Um, and these rules work also for inanimate objects. Just look at these things. Um, don't believe me? Just try to uh, imagine a family with uh, children and a dog, uh, all very, very happy, getting into this car here and going for a fun day at the beach. It's very, very hard to, uh, to imagine that. Or if there's... Well, actually, there's no room for children, but imagine a very romantic couple going to the beach for uh, like a, a nice dinner or something with this car. It's just, it does not compute. Um, if you see a character, if you imagine what this color would fit on, then it's usually not uh, a little kitten or a hamster, but I don't know, a wolf, a guard dog, a dragon... Uh, if you actually do see a movie where a cute character wears that kind of a color, then usually it's foreshadowing for later on where that cute character kicks everybody's uh, butt. Uh, the sword looks extremely unpleasant. Uh, the dagger looks extremely dangerous and lethal. Uh, just try to imagine it being used to smear uh, Nutella on on a piece of bread and it's extremely strange um so these things actually do work the information of this is dangerous you should keep away from it um is immediately immediately conveyed by the shape okay so um we're gonna do some examples for round shapes turning into sharp shapes so imagine there's a dragon, and it's a good-hearted dragon, and its role in the story is to help the heroes on their way. In order for me to convey that the dragon is safe and not necessarily violent or dangerous and something you can trust just by looking at it, by the way, this is only works with drawings and media. If you actually meet a dragon, regardless of how it looks and how sharp its features are, just stay away. This is like basic 
survival skills. So, in order to make the dragon not threatening, I'm going to make sure, even though it has a large mouth and teeth, none of them are really sharp. And this will be enough to make him look not as dangerous as he might be. So the initial reaction of anybody watching this, whether it's like an NPC in a game or a character in a comics or uh, animation, then the initial reaction will be, you can trust it. It's nice. Look how big his eyes are. I can tell how he feels because his eyes are so big, which is one of the strengths strengths of manga and anime. They convey most of the emotions through the eyes. Um, so this is the dragon. It can be huge or small, but it'll be safe looking as far as dragons go. Now, in that same story, there's another dragon. This dragon wants to eat everyone and everything. The world must burn kind of dragon. And this dragon will convey that sentiment in every feature of its being. So it's obviously carnivorous. Obviously, a bite from him would be fatal, or at the very least, extremely painful. And the, this entire history of information is easily conveyed by the fact that he is extremely sharp in every feature. Nothing here is cuddly or nice or even close to feeling safe. And that's how you do it. Nice two dragons. Hooray!